Hey, what's up guys? So today we are going to try out a new custom ROM on our Redmi Note 8 and this one is completely new ROM. I haven't reviewed this ROM before and this one is called Afterlife ROM. They have released only two versions of it actually, previously one and this build. This is kind of pretty amazing for a new ROM and it's a pretty much OSP build. There is nothing much going on with the ROM and also there is no GFs built for this ROM for this device. So. I have been trying out for 3-4 days now this ROM and it is surprisingly good ROM. So as you can see the ROM is booted up, it's really fast actually and let's go and check what we are getting with this ROM. Go to setting and about phone so as you can see here it is running on Android 14 and the version of the ROM is 7.0 patience and the security patch level is 5th of May 2024 so as you can see here everything is there and the UI is beautiful actually it's pretty much similar to Infinity X ROM and setting UI is pretty similar to that but rather than that other things are pretty much AOSP so going with the features of this ROM so if you want features features are available you can go with after left and if you go there you will get all the features you need almost all of them actually available it is pretty much comparable with evolution x rom all the features are available here so if you want any kind of tweaking the rom you can do that going back hot spot and sharing is everything is working as you can see my device is connected to wi-fi right now i haven't faced any kind of issue actually with wi-fi bluetooth and sim card and anything like that everything seems to be working fine the app section as I said, this was not a GFs build, so there was not much application. So I will show you that what we got with this ROM. And uh, notification, sound and vibration, everything is working, no issue. As you can see here, everything working. So wallpaper and style. So this device did not come with any kind of AI wallpaper, and there is not much wallpaper available. Only single wallpaper, which is this one, which came with it. And other than that, you can use your own wallpaper, as you know. So other things are here, it's pretty much similar to all other AOSP based ROM, so nothing much to talk. Going with the battery section, uh, the battery section is a little bit bad, not in terms of backup, so in terms of features actually. So we are not getting anything like scheduling the charging and also like controlling the MPRH. We, are, we can't do those things here. Other than that, the battery backup is pretty good actually. Going back and it does support fast charging, so no issue with that. In terms of actually other things like storage, so it is kind of strange, although this was not a GFs build, but as you can see here, the system took nearly 16 GB. I don't really know why, because all other ROMs I have used, they did not take that much space actually, so I don't really know what's going on with this ROM, but it is pretty much stable, there is no issue with that actually. So in terms of other things like security and privacy, we are not getting any kind of face unlock, but fingerprint unlock works flawlessly so you can see here just tap it and it will work you cannot select other option in pattern lock so you are only getting a 3 by 3 pattern lock so if you go to pattern lock you will only get 3 by 3 like other roms they offer you 4 by 4 5 by 5 and 6 by 6 but here only you are getting 3 by 3 and fingerprint rather than that there is nothing much going on so other things are pretty much similar to all other ROMs and going to the system section we do have Xiaomi parts and I did tweak the display because otherwise you will get bad burning on this ROM and I do really like the way this ROM look going back there is nothing much in the setting in terms of application as I said this was not a GFs build or there is no GFs build available for this device and you can flash GFs and GFs will work perfectly fine as you can see I have flash GFs core and it is working perfectly fine so as far as you can see, we are getting calendar, MIUI camera is working and it is included, clock, contact, files, firewall, FM video, gallery, game space and this is Gcam which I am using here and it's working flawlessly, messaging, phone, this dialer is actually not a Google dialer and safety net is passed so you can use bank application here, no issue with that, so check safety net. So as you can see safety net is passed and bank apps and other application you can use without any kind of issue and other than that there are a few other applications as you can see here i did install a browser here and also the youtube so everything seems to be working fine and also if you go to play store 
and check the certification so setting about so as you can see this rom is certified so you're not going to have any kind of issue so in terms of camera as you can see here camera is working and 48 megapixel does work perfectly fine no issue with that and gcam also working so here i'm using a gcam which is 8.4 maybe so it does not have any kind of lens switching option so we don't have any other lens option but you can use different gcam gcam is working perfectly fine so no issue with that so in terms of gaming it was not really that great but gaming seems to be very good actually it's it's kind of very similar to infinity x pixel os and evolution x rom so gaming you can still do in terms of fluidity of the rom it's pretty okay -ish. it's not really that great but it's pretty okay it works flawlessly no issue with that it's not really that fast like other rom but so everything seems to be working fine one weird thing of this rom actually when i installed this rom there was after installing this rom when the rom booted up there was no setup menu usually if you install a rom you have to go through some option i have to select some option those things were not in this rom it just booted up to the rom and i did install gf so play store is working everything is working flawlessly no issue with that so that's all about afterlife rom if you want to try out this rom the rom link will be in the description below it is a dynamic partition rom so you have to use a dynamic partition supported recovery otherwise you cannot flush the rom so that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one